Hi, this is Mark Tube speaking. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe Saunders. Unification at Super Middleweight in the main event in Dallas, Texas. I think it was Dallas. Anyway, in front of 73,000 people. Now, this is a fight that, of course, I was hoping that Billy Joe was going to win. Bias Brit, but of course, we recognize Canelo Alvarez is arguably pound for pound number one, or maybe number two, maybe number three. He's definitely in that bracket, right? But if anybody was going to beat Canelo, I think a lot of people felt that it was probably going to be Billy Joe Saunders. So I'll give you how I was scoring the fight up to when the fight got stopped. And in round number one, I gave that to Billy Joe Saunders, pretty close in that one. Round two, I just edged it towards Canelo. Round three, again, another very close round, but um, I edged it to Canelo. So that's 2-1 for Canelo so far. Round four, I had to give that one to Canelo with uh, Billy just getting landed on quite quite comfortably, I thought. Um, in round number five, um, I thought that uh, Billy won that round um, just by using the jab, really, and uh, the left hook. So that's 3-2 to Canelo so far after uh, five rounds. Round six, very, very hard round to score. That was a real swing round. For me, I just about edged it with Canelo. Only just, but if anybody had it for Billy Joe, I ain't going to argue with that one. So 4-2 to Canelo at that point. Round number seven, that was a clear round for me for Billy Joe Saunders. He was landing some massive punches on Canelo. In fact, I think Canelo maybe landed one body punch that whole round. So 4-3 to Canelo at that point. Round number eight, dominant, very, very dominant, heavy-handed performance by Sal Canelo Alvarez where... Billy Joe was just getting hit with uh, big uppercuts, straight rights, body shots. And right away, you could see Billy Joe's right eye would just start starting to close. It was blackening and it didn't look good. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised that Canelo didn't actually knock him out with the amount of punches that were being landed on him. But Billy done very, very well just to get to the end of that round. And unfortunately, that's where it stopped. Billy Joe didn't come out for round number nine. Um... I'm presuming that it was Mark Tibbs that made the call due to Billy Joe Saunders' eye. The fact that um, he wasn't moving around too much in round number eight anyway. So there's a very good chance that he was just going to come out and just have some more punishment. Obviously get hurt um, a whole lot more. But if it was Mark Tibbs or maybe it was a doctor who, who pulled the plug, I don't exactly know. It's not clear at this point. But Billy, Billy's going to really, really hurt on this one because uh, he was in this fight. In my opinion, he was really, really in this fight. I thought round number eight was devastating for him. But he was really in this fight. And he was landing some pretty good shots in Canelo. And he was making Canelo miss. He really was. But I think round number eight, the momentum was really starting to go to Canelo. So I understand the call. And yes, that's going to hurt BJ Saunders' pride, that's for sure. Uh, you know, he's a very, very prideful man. Of course he is. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr., you know, he put his uh, 10 grand bet on uh, Canelo knocking out BJ Saunders, which effectively is what's happened so i suppose congratulations to chris eubank jr on his bet anyway so that is result sal canelo alvarez defeats billy joe saunders in eight rounds drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch you on the next video